Hey guys, I hope you've been well and that you had a great Thanksgiving and you're gonna have a good Christmas coming up. Today we're gonna be talking about two products that were in my Christmas ideas video. So I made a video of like 25 plus Christmas ideas for like the tactical guy. So these two products were in that and now I'm gonna review them. So these were provided by Optics Planet. So as always, links in the description below. I always have a coupon code over there, LLOD5 for 5% off. I'm gonna be having a 10% off coupon here soon probably. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. This is the Goal Zero, Goal Zero uh, Nomad 20 solar panel charger. And this is the Yeti 150 power pack, power bank kind of thing. And they're two different products. So I'm gonna break this out into two different videos, but they're both gonna be pretty quick because solar panel, there's not much to it. And the power pack thingy has a little bit more. So I'll, I'll post that video second. So if you're just tuning in to this video, like right when I posted it and that other video is not up yet, just Sit tight, it'll be up soon. So this is a 20 watt solar panel that has a few different plugs, outputs on the back that we'll get into here that essentially can charge your device straight up. Most commonly used, like I would most commonly use it with just anything that you can plug into a USB, uh, but it also comes with like a cigarette lighter adapter. So anything that you might plug into your cigarette lighter in your car, 12 volt, can charge that also directly from the panel. So yeah, it's just, Take some measurements real quick because I don't know them off the top of my head. So just under a eight and a quarter inches wide by just under 13 inches long. And depth is a little bit harder to calculate because it kind of has some things sticking out of it, but I'll just guesstimate it at about a inch and a quarter to an inch and a half in width. So pretty compact little guy and it unfolds here. So this is a magnet closure here. And then it unfolds into three, three of these panels. Sorry, the light is reflecting off, but it'll be okay. So these panels fold up for storage or travel or whatever and unfold for getting your charge. Now, we'll just call this the front is this panel and on the back, we'll call this the back, is where all your plugs are for the device. So it's in this like little mesh thing that you can also store some little things back here, just like as a little container. You could put this back here, you could put some other USB storage thing back there if you'd like. But this will unfold to reveal a bunch of plugs. So this is a plug that either will be used with the cigarette lighter adapter or it'll plug directly into another Goal Zero product, a battery type product that stores energy. Now, the, it has a couple other, couple other plugs here. We have a mini Stoller port for charging those kind of things. And then we also have a, another solar port for charging. So we have a handful of different kinds of solar ports that come out of here. And the one that you're gonna be using the most if it's like your standalone charger thing for your other devices is this little USB plug here. So this little USB plug just accepts any USB 2.0, USB 3.0, standard USB plug, and that'll charge your phone, your chargers, anything. So I'm in here charging some stuff. It's kind of overcast, so it's not gonna get maximum charge really. Oh, I got my driveway paved. Check that out. So maybe people will quit bugging me about having dirty mats all the time. Anyway, here we're charging the uh, Yeti 150 off of the Nomad 20. It's kind of angled on my uh, Diamondback truck cover, which I'll be doing a review on at some point in the future. And it's kind of just trying to angle it up at the sun here that's hidden behind that cloud. But as you can see here, it is charging this guy. And I just wanted to bring out some other random USB devices to show you that it just charges stuff. So, move some stuff around here and try to situate this camera in such a way we'll see if we can get it. So here we have a USB plug and that'll just plug in right there. Now this is just a standard micro USB at the end here and we will try to get some focus on so yeah, standard micro USB, and we'll just plug it in some stuff. So here's a little 
hand warmer slash power source battery bank and you can see it's charging there and this is all while it's still charging the Yeti 150 obviously if it's charging multiple things at once it's gonna slow down the charges all across the board but you can do it so here is just this Rofus TR20 flashlight that I like a lot. Charges that. Here is a Corsair a gaming headset, but it charges with micro USB, so I figured I'd just pull it out here. So it's charged. I believe the charging light is on the microphone, yeah. So there we go. You can see that that's charging. And yeah. It's really, I mean, it's a solar panel, so there's not a whole lot to it. You, for best results, obviously, uh, you wanna use it when it's not overcast, like it is kind of now, but you know, it's sunny enough that it's still getting a charge. And ideally, you wanna angle your panel at the sun. So, this panel has lots of little points. I just kind of like hooked it onto this thing. And you can stand it on the ground, you can lean it up against something, you can hang it from a tree, you can do whatever, but for maximum charge, charge, you really want the angle of it to be basically perpendicular to the sun. So really my angle of this could be a little more vertical even than it is now, but yeah. Now the unfolded dimension here, we'll just kind of split the difference because it's kind of angled on this side, it is about 29 inches in length by, obviously the other dimension is the same, about 13 inches in width. So when you're unfolded, you're looking at that much space. So like I mentioned, you're gonna wanna angle your solar panels. It doesn't matter if it's this way or this way, but you're gonna wanna ang angle them so that they're basically perpendicular to the sun. So if the sun is right where the camera is, you're gonna wanna angle them like this. If the sun's there and you have them angled like this, you'll still get a charge, but you won't get, it, it won't charge as efficiently or as powerfully as if it's absorbing the direct power of the ring light or the sun. Now, I'm not gonna get into charge times for various devices because it varies a lot based on cloud cover, your angle, your altitude, elevation, time of day, distance from the sun, season, all that stuff. So all that stuff plays into, into account uh, when, you're, when you're trying to calculate charge times. So I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna try. So it depends on your device, it depends on how big, how many milliamps, or how many watts your device storage is. And there's a lot of there's a lot of like calculators on there. If you have a 20 watt panel that effectively charges at however many watts, and how long will it take to charge this at maximum output? So I'm not going to get into it because I don't want to. But if you're interested in trying to calculate those charge times yourself, there are a bunch of like converters and things out there that you can use. Anyway, that's the panel. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's just a solid product. It looks cool, and this is kind of falls into my survival slash prepper kind of items. Now, not to say I don't use this when I go camping and stuff like that, but if you know if you're doing like a multi-day trip and need to need to keep your need to keep your things topped off, you, a solar panel is a great way to do that if a battery if the battery pack isn't going to last you long enough. But this kind of falls under almost like a survivalist prepper item for me because in the freak event that something happens, you know, SHTF kind of scenario, then you want to be able to charge some things, batteries, anything that can charge basically uh, will need a solar panel because you won't have power. So for me, when I get this kind of stuff, it's fun twofold because one, it's like a cool camping item. And then second, it's kind of a survival prepper item. So you can kind of get something for like the little bit of prepping side for you without going like full on prepper mode because it's still kind of a cool backpack and camping item. So anyway, that's the panel and stay tuned if you're interested in the Yeti 150. And I'll link that video, you know, up here and probably down below. All right, cool. Thanks for watching and take care.